During the budget debate, Private Sector Senator Christopher Dialy had indicated the possibility of some employers no longer taking on the cost of testing employees for COVID-19 in order to know their status. Your livelihood is going to be dependent on your status in terms of vaccination or unvaccinated. Senator Dialy is now reaffirming that this remains a likelihood for businesses that choose not to mandate vaccination. So that staff could, um, could ensure that they're coming with a status. They know their status and we at the business know their status so we know what to do. So it helps all parties in that sense. And I could see that being accelerating as this virus and its level of contagiousness continues as it has started to. The private sector senator says companies and the economy in general are now expected to prepare for the real effects fiscally as the waiver on loans is due to end in 2022. Meanwhile, the senator says the behavior of citizens must be challenged, noting that as citizens, the protocols must be followed to reduce the transmission. The real issue is jobs and people having jobs and livelihoods to continue earning and continue meeting their obligations in whatever form that there are to be met. Um, in Grenada, we seem to be heading down a road where the government is not anxious to lock down again in any form because they understand the implications of lockdown. And when you have community spread, in, in based on what the science is saying, locking down doesn't really help. What really helps is behavior and how we do what we have to do, you know, whether we go to large gatherings without any protections and all of that. He says the emphasis and constant reminders must be on workers understanding the major role their behavior and discipline to the protocols play in keeping the second wave to a minimum. Senator Diali says personal responsibility to get vaccinated or receive boosters and to reflect on one's lifestyle while making adjustments must be the focus. I am Jara Joseph for GBN News.